Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are doing a little late night Sunday stream tonight. And if you guys are catching this on YouTube, thank you for watching whenever you're watching. And uh, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. And you can check me out on Patreon or on Twitch in the links below in my description. Either way, we're playing this sweet five color dragons list. Uh, this is a deck that it did well a while back. And the other deck had uh, Vevictus Asmati in it and Darigaz from Dominaria. And this version does not have those, but it's got it's it's very similar. You have like these uh like the seven five mana dragons, you have two palladium orders, four Nicobolus. So it's like standard scred dragons. We'll we'll call it that. We'll call it standard scred dragons. What's going on, Undreamt Tuna? Um I got two chromium in the sideboard. I am going to just jump in. Hey, the, the deck is self-explanatory, right? You play this on three. You play one of these on five. Well, what more do you want? If you don't get one of these, you play one of this on four. Eh, what are you going to do? You take care of the things they play on one and two. What more do you need to know? We also have unclaimed territory. We can name uh, dragons and, uh, you know, we can play these guys for free. So, well, not for free, but you know what I'm saying. You get it. It's not complicated. And we can mess around with other dragons as we go. I've been really unhappy with Sarkhan and Sand. Really? Every time I played Sarkhan, I've been, like, really impressed by him. And actually, that's what I was like, oh, well, this hand. This hand is not great. I'm tempted to keep it because of Slew. Um... I don't think it's good enough, though. We're going to ship it. I like that new script. Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Every single person, every single day tells me about it. So I'll keep this. It's it's better. Um, yeah, we can keep that. What do you think those complicated decks of Pellet are? Uh, I have a bad time with aggro decks. I think that it's different by, by person. It's different from person to person. Like, I don't think there's any one specific type of deck that is, by and large, the most uh, difficult to pilot. I think some people are going to have more trouble with control than they would with combo. Um, also, you could say combo, but depending on the combo, sometimes combos like Splinter Twin, uh, you know, Pestermite is not a hard combo. You know, so if you say combo, like it's not always the case. I'm just bad at aggro because I never know when to attack and when not to attack. Let's see if you'll let this happen. Pretzel combos. I don't think that's a kind of combo. I think cheddar cheese combos, uh, pizza combos, uh, nacho cheese combos. Those are kinds of combos. Hmm, that was good. Let's play that. We'll name dragon, not elder. <laughs> I'm going to name elder. Grandpa. Combos, cheddar cheese, pretzel snack. <laughs> That's a good link. Did they not? They didn't. They they went play the swamp and then said, "I'm done. I'm done here." Considering we have dragon sword and we should have two counters on it, we're probably just playing canyon sleep because we want to be able to play palladium mortars next turn. You gotta counter one of these guys, right? No? Unbelievable. Which mic is this? This is Frank Mike. Uh, accompanied by Chat Mike.
Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a draft. I don't know if I'm feeling M19 necessarily. I'm just going to bring in these duresses. I'll take out the magma spray. I think our braid's probably still pretty good here. I'll take out the cuts ribbons and I'll bring in these glint sleeveys. I will keep. God, I do love Zendikar. Cringe. The cringe is real. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Yeah, MTG bot can't actually do the, uh, the thing. Oh, that's really sad. I'm going to just keep the slew here. <laughs> Play blue black fairies. God, Sarah. Always with the tribal decks. Unbelievable. I wonder if this deck wants, uh, instead of unclaimed territory, Aether Hub, because you do have Glint Sleeve Siphoners in the sideboard. And I can't imagine you really need to be naming, uh, you really need more than two black sources to be casting this. Two black sources? Two. I can't, I can't imagine you need more than one color to hit off of this, is what I meant to say there. Yeah, I might as well wait. Can't help having a good taste. Well, let's not go crazy, Sarah. Ooh. Beautiful. Contempt, contempt, scriptures. Harold Zahid. Wow. Alrighty then. They don't have a fourth land, though. All right, well. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wizard, Burn, or Merfolk? I actually have no idea. Maybe. I don't, it's, like, it's hard to say because you don't know what's in Ravnica, you know what I mean? I am going to update this uh, deck thing. I don't think I updated it. I apologize for that. You guys can check that out. Let me make sure the most current deck is not this deck. I don't think it is. No. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the delay here, guys. Okay. I do not think we're getting signets. <laughs> Wizard says uh, pretty strongly confirmed that they do not like having two mana ramp, two mana colorless ramp in standard if they can avoid it. Yeah, like especially when any color can use it. This is like they don't even like have uh, they don't even cast like it's hard to get like a far seek out of them these days. Also, I just have to look. At, I'd have to look more at the standard format to see what it looks like now and what we're losing compared to what we gain. Because like we're obviously losing like four sets, so there's a lot of things that are like a lot of oppressive cards that could have kept Merfolk or um, Wizard Burn out of the you know the metagame. So I'm not exactly sure what we are and aren't losing. Okay, so we know we still know. Five, four out of the five cards in your hand. Yeah, let's play this guy. Now, I assume they're going to play scriptures here, but then they still take another four, six, four, six. Six. 
Everybody get in the band van. Oh, I can't see Teferi getting the ban. Like, that just doesn't... I think that's just people hating on Teferi. Like, it's just not that... Like, it's in one deck. It's a five-mana Planeswalker. Like, it's not really that that bad. Oh. Whoa. Dragon. Dang it. was a lot of glint sleeve siphoners. We're not going to play both, but we are going to play one because it lets us uh lets us get another card next turn. I definitely don't think there's a complete lack of availability on Nexus of Fate. Like, that seems a little hyperbolic. Like, they're 22 bucks on, on TCG Player right now. And there are plenty available. Like, there's definitely an availability. Like, they're definitely available. Well, I mean, it's only required to be a proxy because it's foil, right? Like, it's the only foil in your deck, so you can proxy it if you want to, because otherwise it's going to be uh, very obvious because it's the only foil in your deck. Where were you last turn? Are there going to be... Oh, wow, a Karn and a Tezzeret in this hand? Good lord. Yeah, like I made a I made a, a a Patreon post about Nexus of Fate, and I definitely think it shouldn't be a buy box promo. But I don't think there's there's no availability issue. Like it's it's a if you're playing if you're going to a constructed event and uh, if you happen to open your entire deck through packs, like if you're going to a standard event and your entire deck was open through packs, okay. I mean, you're completely lucky. If not, you had to buy Teferis, you had to buy Karns, you had to buy Lands, Lyras, whatever you're playing, through the secondary market. So you can just as easily get them from the secondary... You can just as easily get Nexus of Fate the same way. Like, there's not an availability issue. There's a distribution issue, which is... It's not even, like... It's fine. Like, you can... It's clearly uh, manageable. I just don't think... I don't like the precedent it sets. They're sold out of Channel Ball of Fire. Yeah, so what? <laughs> it's a big deal. I mean, I don't understand what the point of that is. What is your point, sir? Hmm. Okay, I can't buy it with a credit. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's a... Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, you can buy them with real-world currency. So, it's not... You know, it is what it is. I get it. I get it. I mean, there's 127 results on TCG Player alone, many of which have 10, up to 10, like, copies. So, it's it's not really a, an issue. Hmm. 
Irk, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, okay. I mean, like, why do we say things like that? Like, yeah, the, all the stores that forgot to hand them out. Like, I mean, I've seen I've seen seen data that says like certain stores got like forty to seventy copies of Nexus of Fate somewhere around there, and like some stores just don't sell forty boxes, man. Like. I just don't know why we default to negativity. That's that's sad. Mm, that's sad, okay. So we're gonna deal you two. Can't get past you. I guess we can actually Glorbringer and... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well, some stores are actually just selling them on eBay instead. I'm sure they were. I'm sure there's going to be some stores in the world, in the entire world, that would do that. I, I, I do not. I'm under no impression that every single store in the world is uh, honorable. However, that being the case, it is not my default mode. X number artifacts, one, two, three, four. Oh, wow, this is actually pretty good. Got him! That should be a game. It's fine. I mean, I understand it. Like, I get, I, w I would want to be, I would want to be, um, only three unclaimed territories, huh? Hmm. Okay, slow. I understand. I get it. But I mean, like, we can't, obviously, we can't, like, right, we, we don't have a list of all the stores that were like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell these on the internet instead of actually giving them out with the boxes that I sell. Like, so the only alternative is to be like, yes, we know some stores probably do this. I have to assume that the percentage is low, like maybe less than 10% of stores uh, gave out, I would say less than 10%, I would say over 90% of stores gave out their Nexus of Fates in good faith, in good Nexus of Faith, with their boxes, and uh, less than 10% may not have. That would be my my estimate. And I and like I, I have no data on that. Like I, I have no idea if that's accurate or not, but You know what? I'll keep this hand. Any land, we get five mana. If we get another land, we can play this guy. If we get any spell, we... Actually, we get four mana. I'm still going to keep it. Oh, boy. Chris, I see you creeping in there. Oh, isn't that cute? 
Okay, this is enough dragon swords. Dragon swords? <laughs> yes, dragon sh swords. Well, that needed to be a land. It was not. I don't think people would, I so personally I don't think people would applaud uh the banning of Nexus of Fate and it's for numerous reasons, right? One is that the card is not overpowered. It's not a strong card. Uh you're setting a precedent that says um we're going to ban cards that are not oppressive in, in formats uh based on scarcity, right? Like you don't ban Tabernacle of the Pendrel Veil or whatever it's called from from Legacy simply because it's a hard card to get a hold of, right? Um, you don't ban, you just don't ban cards based on, uh, that's because that's secondary market. Like you don't ban car cards based on scarcity. Uh, secondly, you're, you're saying that wizards, wizards is, would be saying that we're going to print supplemental cards, uh, that we give away to you that incentivize you to buy our product. And it's possible that we're just going to ban these cards out of the blue right like they're gonna they're gonna be like hey we, we printed this nexus of fate if you couldn't get it with a box you, you could have spent 30 dollars on the card and uh now we're gonna ban it and it says you basically just can't trust any cards that wizard prints I mean, it just sets a it just sets a terrible precedent, and that's not even taking into consideration the people who spent 120 bucks on their playset of Nexus of Fate or 100 bucks or whatever. And the thing is, if you say you just want one for the collection, you are you know well within your means to get one. Like it's not a super hard card to get a hold of. <laughs> crazy little thing called lands a crazy little thing called where are my lands at I'm actually I literally have a tab up for merch for um so I'm actually look at this I killed all their guys so now they can like back like Glint's leave um I actually have a tab up and definitely tempted to, to have a merch store with like shirts and things. <laughs> You're only playing 25. Yeah, why should you get your third land if you only got 25? Old Hope, you're a scientist. Tell me what the odds are of drawing a third land when you got 25 in your deck. Wow. <sighs> oh, a Torrential Gear Hulk, eh? So next turn, if they reanimate Torrential Gear Hulk and abrade the Dragon Sword, I think we're just going to call it a day. If they actually just counter it, I'm probably just going to call it a day as well. Yep. All right. You had fun. Let's bring in them duresses. And take these guys out. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. 
Big fan shirt with a picture of a fan on it. Good lord. I'll get a shirt that says, are you the real Frank Lepore? Big fan underneath it. <laughs> oh, God. It's two memes in one, and that goes, two great tastes that taste great together. An ice-breathing Mike Big Gulp Cup. Um, I don't know. So big gulp cups are a trademark of 7-Eleven, and I don't know if I can just print those. I can make a, an ice breathing my big cup. Oh my god, the Last Supper with with all the mics as the oh my god, that sounds amazing. Oh my god, <laughs> that's the most incredible idea I've ever heard. sounds really good that's a really good idea one of those nice insulate yeah the ones that like they're really thick and then they have a little tiny little bottom so they can fit in your car you know the kind we're talking about hey we're back up to 350 subs what a time to be alive I'll keep this hand reluctantly Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should have the shuffler as Judas. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to represent the shuffler in real life. Could be Brian Kibler. That guy's the shuffler if I ever saw him. And I have. Hmm. How about a Dragon's Horde next turn so I can go... How about a Dragon's Horde and a Duress next turn? Can we do that? I'll trade my Mountain in for that. All right, well, not a dragon sword, but we do need another either a green or a white source for this Palladium Ores, unfortunately. Joe Mountain Yellow has a D. I have no idea who Joe Mountain Yellow is. I don't understand you kids' hip lingo. I have Nicol Bolas in my deck somewhere. Do you guys know where? I don't. I know I'm playing four of them. It's a lot of Vraska's Contemptorinos. Joe Mountain Yellow, I smoked that stream. <laughs> hey man, give me a hit of that Joe Mountain Yellow. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Sc Scrabble God? My dude. We're just going to play this in case we hit, like, a Glorybringer, then we can still, uh... There's no... I mean, if they have a way to get rid of Sarkon, we want to be able to play Palladium Morris at some point. I don't think that's going to help it, but it's not. I don't know why we played the land. I think we just want five mana. If they get rid of this and we draw, like, Glorybringer, we want to have a land in play. We want to have five. That's what we're getting at here. Thankfully, they can't abrade Sarkon. 
Hmm. How demanding. I mean, they're going to supreme will this because they didn't play anything. They're just sitting on some counter spells. What? Doomfall, perhaps? Unclaimed territory is a green source, but our, our the other cards in our hand were just better. I see. Intriguing. Most intriguing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's get a blue. We are one shy of being able to do all the things we want to do. Not going to attack here because if they just take six, they can actually kill this guy with something, maybe Veraska's Contempt, what have you. Whereas right now we are still in. The problem is this guy goes to the graveyard and they can just re get back a Nickel Bolas and they can probably flip it easier than we can. I don't want to do that because then you abrade it. Oh, boy. So we can assume you have a Vraska's Contempt, right? Well, then you would just kill this guy, right? You'd obviously have a braid in your deck. One, two, three. What does it cost? Five. One, two, three, four, five. You get back Nicol Bolas, we can Vraska... Alright, we're going to do it. Thank you. The problem is we don't want... Colacoma, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Get back, you get back, you get to copy Nicol Bolas. We discard Demanding Dragon. <sighs> if we can just draw a blue source. They can't flip it off a copy. Which is good to know. I'm just gonna let Sarkhan go. He's done some work here. I would also like to Veraska's Contempt of the Palladium Wars because it's uh, obnoxious if they get a second copy. Yep. I actually was assuming you had that and you were going to. Yep, that's pretty good.
Really, you play the feathered pools instead of actually f cycling? Yep, seems good. I have no idea if Black White Vampire is still viable in Standard. That is a random question to throw out there. So I have to assume your last card is a Braid. I'm just gonna block here. Like, it's, it's whatever. Like, I, I'm putting you on a braid, sure. Well, that's not bad, but we actually don't have a blue source here. Let's see if we can draw Drowned. That'll do. All right. Another thing this doesn't do, it doesn't let you cast, it doesn't let you flip this. So I actually just want... How many blue sources do we have in the deck? Like, I really want a blue source just to be able to flip this guy. Two Drown Catacombs and two Sulphur Falls. We have four blue sources that actually will flip a Nicol Bolas, which is pretty sad. Here comes the Champion of Wits, which is... I don't know why you would have played the Dragon Skull Summit if you're going to bring back Champion of Wits. Like, these are not the most ideal plays you're making. Like, last turn you played a Fetid Heath when you had, like, seven lands on board. Me, J Squared, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Like, there's no reason you don't keep the, uh, the Dragon Skull Summit in hand to discard to the Champion of Wits. Because if you draw four spells, like... <laughs> Two lands, okay. Boy, I would love to flip this guy if only this was a land that produced blue mana. That's pretty frustrating. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's definitely a change we're going to make. They probably just sacrifice a zombie, right? Seems better than going to nine here. God, he goes to... We, we flip... We, we actually flip him. We get to... Plus some draw two, go to nine. I guess he would die there. Put target creature or planeswalker from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control for negative four. He would go to three, but we could put a gear hulk into play, cast Vraska's Contempt on the Palladium Wars. Yeah, that would have been insane. Four percent chance to not draw your third land if playing first with twenty-five land in the deck by turn six. We are part of the four percent. That's pretty good. Flip, Steel Gear Hulk. Sure. That might have been the worst pick because now we just take 10, but... They're probably just going to kill this anyway, so... Yeah, this is 
yeah, un unclaimed territory is pretty dumb. It only it literally only helps you cast Palladium Wars. Every other card in your deck is just f super easy to cast. I would literally just rather have drawn Catacombs or uh, I also don't care about cut to ribbons to be quite honest. I'd almost rather have the Glint Sleeve Siphoners in the main deck and play something like Aether Hubs. Has modern happened yet? Uh, no. I'm not sure we're going to be playing any modern. Let's look up standard dragons. See, Daragas is even easier to cast because it's only one splash instead of two, so you can play it off Dragon's Horde where you can't really play a Palladium Orders off of just a Dragon's Horde. Same thing with Vivictus as Mahdi. Oh, that's weird. It does see it's a black green black green heartless summoning. That's weird because that was like last week sometime. That was like that was like last Tuesday or something. It should definitely not have said that. So apologies for the confusion. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember that happening, but maybe. I can't see a reason why we don't have more sulfur falls over mountains. Like four, eight, eight canyon slew, or eight, eight lands that, that make sulfur falls come into play untapped is it's pretty fine. I don't like this mana base at all. Let's get rid of the, actually, we're getting rid of these, aren't we? Um, we're going to add... One summit, one drowned. Yeah, these are just bad. <laughs> oh, they're yeah, why do people play Dragon's Horde in their non artifact deck? Don't take the money. Yeah, that song is amazing. That's probably one of my favorite Bleacher songs. Um, it's actually just that guy. Get these guys out of here. I actually don't like these guys. I mean, they're fine, but like they don't do anything. I almost kind of like Daragaz here. I don't know we're going to one Daragaz. Should I just play one Lathless in the deck? I don't like Varix in this deck just because I never want to play him for four. I think for four mana, like Nicol Bolas is just so much better. The problem with Vivictus is that we don't actually have that many permanents. I guess we have lands, but, like, what are we hitting? Like, our own lands? Like, I'm afraid of giving my opponent permanence. I might take out one Demanding Dragon for, like, just one um, Scarab God. Like, there's no reason you just don't play Scarab God in this deck, right? I wonder if this is better. Uh, this is also only splashing white. Like you, you, you can probably get the blue and the black pretty easily, so I don't think that's an issue. What up, Kerwit? It's it's my dude. We are out of invisible seven up.
Hmm. I'm going to play one laugh less in the deck just for funsies. Now I got two more cards to play. So what do we have? We took out two Pladymores and we put one Lathless, one Daragaz in the deck. Did we have any other seven drops? I don't think so, right? Do weekends feel the same as weekdays? No, actually they don't. Um, because I try to like take a break on the weekends, but sometimes I don't have enough videos. Like I don't have anything going up on YouTube for, for Monday, tomorrow, so I wanted to make sure I got something to go up. What is this deck missing? What what are cool cards that we can have in this deck? I'm tempted to just put three Glint Sleeve Siphoners, but we're not playing Aether Hub, so like it's kind of a slow, a little dirtly engine. My only problem with Hour of Devastation, it kills all of our things. We already have Sweltering Suns. Two cards, two cards. Like, I would say Gear Hulk, but our, our choices are pretty limited here. Are there any good planeswalkers? Oh, uh, what happened to the podcast? Uh, me and Ollie just had a difficult time coordinating, so. Also, like, we didn't have any sponsorship or anything, so it was very hard to maintain without, like, any sort of support. Like, we had a Patreon page, but, like, we actually didn't have a ton of patrons. So, like, doing it every single week and, like, you know, editing it, uploading it, like, paying for the, the server space on the, on the website, like, it was a lot of... A lot of upkeep for very little reward, like. Who cares? Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Actually, I don't hate Heart of Kieran here. That's actually pretty good. I have to borrow Heart of Kieran, so that sounds kind of obnoxious. I was literally just thinking Gonti. That's super weird. In my head, I was like, ooh, what about Gonti? Um, what about just one more of each of these? I don't think one more of each of these is necessary. This is the number of the same number of dragons, right? Like it's 4, 8, 12, 13, 14 dragons. Right? 4, 8, no, 4, 8, 11, 12, 13 dragons. And one Scarab God. I think we actually upped the dragon count. Or up the up the creature count. Um I can see Chandra. Chandra's not bad. I really don't want more four drops though. I'd rather have like something on, on one or two that's just better. Like, I'm really leaning towards Glintsleaf Siphoner, but it just doesn't I don't really want to take out four lands and uh add either hubs. That sounds bad. I don't, I don't think Moment of Craving is great. I think it's super narrow. We already have Magma Spray Abrade and Vraska's Condemned. I don't think we need Moment of Craving. Oh my god. Oh my god, Swamp Dog. What are you doing, buddy? What is even happening? This is a foil Nickel Bowl's Planeswalker? Is that what we're doing? What's happening right now? Hearts of Kieran. Do you have Heart of Kieran? Hearts of Kieran? Heart of Hearts of Heart of Kieran? Oh my god. How many am I grabbing here? Cause you're you're clearly watching, otherwise you would never know that I was in need of these guys. 
What do these guys go for online? I actually don't know. I always get the online price and the real life price confused because I think they're... I think we're going to try two. I'll just grab two from you. Cody, you are awesome, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are great. All right. We are going to go try this deck out with two hearts of Kieran, courtesy of you, you boy Swamp Dog. All right. Let's do some... It's not even five color dragons anymore. Now it's just like... Grixis Dragons. Ooh, Spitfire seems good. I do like Spitfire as a card a lot. However, I'm not sure if it's good enough. And I say that with pain in my heart. With a heavy heart. Oh, man. I'm going to keep this hand. It's slow, but if we get any uh, basic or what have you, I think we're good. Play the deck in Legacy just for fun? Um, huh. I guess I could do that. Gitu. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I played the right one too. God, I'm so good at this game. This hand is unbelievable now. Yeah, five to six, one fifteen paper. Like the paper price, really plummeted. I'm gonna use one of these now, just because because I don't want them to get out of control and. Old Hove, what is this you're linking here? Did your Twitch account get hacked? Alright, we're just gonna nick we're gonna we're gonna nickel bowl us here. Unless they uh Oh that guy's dead. How could we play Vraska? Like, I mean, we'd have to really work the mana base to get green in, because the only green source we have is Dragon's Horde. Yeah, that's never happening. There we go. We'll use this one instead. That is a lot of a braids. Blue, black, red, black. The formula for chances to not draw land by end turns. Eric, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back, buddy. See, this this Daragaz is looking pretty rough right now because we have no Dragon's Horde, but in the future. Discard their hand. All right, they got rid of another Mountain and another Flame of Keld. I'm okay with that. All right, we're getting there. Makes Aether Hub and Glint Sleeve happy. I agree with you. All right. All right. They got two cards in hand. Um, we don't need this, so we're just going to cycle it and see what happens. Dragon's Horde. All right, well, another land. You got it. Any other land, we can flip this guy. The Mega Power Burn's coming. Here it comes. You ready? M mega Power Burn. It's happening right now. going face I should probably kill this guy right okay okay
Yeah, we're definitely going to abrade this gentleman. Okay. Oh, God. Lightning strike for five. Shock for four. Okay, go to three. We might be dead. I'm only going to attack for four here because we can win next turn. I'm going to keep up Vraska's Contempt because if they try to Lightning Strike us, I want to be able to actually kill our own guy, which does not feel good. Okay, that should do it. Got him! Kurt, let me look at this this link you sent me here. Oh my god, these are amazing. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's super cool, man. Alright, we're gonna bring in duress. Take out some abrades. I think that's really all we want. What's a Victroy? I feel like Chandra's feet's probably just gonna be. I don't know. I don't think we have evidence. Like, the only thing, we saw one creature that dies to both Chandra's Defeat and a Braid, so I will keep. Thank you. Interesting. MTG Pyro, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Also, we lost about 13 subs between uh, Thursday and today. So if you guys have your Twitch primary subs and have not have not procked those guys, make sure you do that. Oh, I know what Vic I know I won, which would be Victory, but what's Vic Troy? Is that actually I can't tell if that if that uh Yeah, okay, I guess that has to be intentional. Uh, this is interesting because you have no creatures. I'm just going to take the Flame of Keld here. And then we can go Horde into Nikki B. Sovereign's Might. Wasn't that Viceroy? <laughs> oh, dear God. The trade routes from Naboo. All right, you cycle your Salu, and then you give him a shock. Huh. Well then. Yeah, I like this mana base a lot better so far. Nicol Bolas, when you have Dragon Sword out, says you draw a card, they discard a card. It basically becomes a uh, a psychic symbiont for for two less mana. Wow, you could have just killed Nicol Bolas there. Mm 
the weird trade take over the trade routes from Naboo. Oh boy. God, this deck is aggressive. Oh, we're gonna be flipping. We can actually deal 13 here, but that's not good enough, so we're gonna be flipping, boys. Oh, our first time. You never forget your first time flipping Nicol Bolas. I don't think they have any cards that can deal us uh, an extra six here. Like, even Invigorating Rampage is only extra four. So I feel pretty okay here. Good games. I do like this mana base better. I am tempted to, I was tempted to play Ravenous Chupacabra, but I think despite the fact that we are dragon heavy, like it's almost better with double scarab god and double demanding dragon instead. Like we're cutting one dragon. I'm okay with that. Scarab God's just a better card, especially when we're it's it's also whenever it enters the battlefield, it's not when you cast it. So if we bring back a dragon, any one of these guys with the scarab god, it still counts. Yeah, we flipped it just because we could, yeah. Uh, and you confirmed that just because you could. It was totally fine just letting me win the game and... Uh, not commenting on that, but you, you confirmed it just because you could. Everyone does things just because they can do them. Only thing I did was cool. Confirming it in the chat. Less cool. What pilot's hard of gear other than planeswalkers in your deck? Uh, every creature? Every, literally every creature in the deck? Right? Like, we play Nicol Bolas, we can crew it. We play Demanding Dragon, we can crew it. Uh, Lathless, Darigaz, Glorybringer, if we for some reason don't want to attack. Literally every creature crews it. Uh, unless you mean cards that are, like, come down before, like a... Like a Scrap Heap Scrounger, I almost forgot that card's name, which is really sad because, God, it's been around for ages. <laughs> it's, it, 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 that's what we were, we were trying to be. Like, we're just trying to do cool stuff, that's all. We're playing a dragon deck in standard. All I want to do is be cool. Also, dragons in the spaceship is pretty much where that's where I just want that's just where I want to be in life. That was a beautiful land to draw. Now we got Horde into, into demanding. Hmm, that is an interesting gentleman. We cannot cast him just yet. Are dragons allowed in the U.S. Space Force? They goddamn better be. Asking for a friend uh, who may or may not be a dragon. I cannot confirm nor deny. I haven't fiction out what's going on. Baron Nico, I uh, agree with you. Hey, look, this is just a poor man's... Dragon sword. Oh, if we can hit a land next turn, we can Lathless.
fascinating. One, two, three. Nickel Bolas. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm th I think we have to Vraska's contempt this guy because he's just obnoxious and we get to deal two. Then they go up a bunch. <laughs> yeah, this is uh this is Tobias Funke. Otherwise known as an anaurapist. That's a oh wow. Oh wow. So we can go one, two, three. So here's what we can do. Are you guys ready? Don't counter this, bro. Don't you supreme will me. You can't. You can't even do it. You can't even do it, you little baby. Give me them two reds. Red. Red. Got him. So we got Planeswalker. We got an extra card sitting here. We got a Lathless on board, which I never thought I'd say in Constructed. And uh, now we get to draw a dragon. That's Sulphur Falls. But we get two draw steps here. Dragon? No. Dragon. Oh, that's a dragon. Dragon time. Every day. We're having a good time. Oh my god, the triggers are so real. I'm so triggered right now. Oh my god, and another. Oh my god, I totally forgot to trigger Dragon's Horde again. Woo! Also, this pumps all dragons? Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that for sure. Oh god, don't don't settle me, bro. Don't settle me wreckages. You're gonna settle me wreckages, aren't you? My wreckages are so settled. That's not terrible. We have two cards extra here. We haven't uh, like we draw four cards next turn in total. And we got a five five on board. Now we no longer do. But they only have two cards in hand, so I'm okay with what's happening right now. My wreckages have been so settled. Oh, I guess we draw three cards, because we actually have to tap this to do that. Hmm. Dragon me one time. I just want a dragon on board. It's not a dragon, no. Play a dragon hard. God, I wish. Look at all this removal in my hand. It's just uh, doing nothing. So we get to draw three cards again next turn. It's okay. We're getting there. Any dragon triggers both of these? My God. They only have two cards in hand. We're doing good. We're doing good. That's a dragon. Give me all them counters. That's a lot of Sarkons. Thankfully, we can play one next turn after we ultimate this one. <laughs> Magic's hard.
Oh, I see. Well, this is awkward. Do I have a way to give dragons haste? Literally all the Sarkons. If they have another approach in hand, we're dead. If they don't, I think we can we can win. Like, they have two cards. They have one card in hand, plus this next card. Come on, don't be another approach. Don't have just two approaches in hand. Yes! Suck on my dragons, bro. Said no one ever in the history of the world. Magma sprays, you can come out. Contempts, you can come out. Duresses can come in. Siphoners can come in. The only reason I'm keeping a braid in is because they might have... Like, we did see a couple artifacts. We saw one, I think. Yes! Suck on those eggs. Oh, this hand is gas. Oh, the gassiest. Boom. So once they hit the six mana, we're going to be duressing that approach, ideally. Pretty sure uh, Cannon Slew is the best land in the deck, despite the fact that it comes into play tapped uh, on later turns. It does activate Drowned Catacomb, Sulphur Falls, and Dragon Skull Summit, and it also cycles in that late game. I'm just going to play it for now, though, because we already have two Glorbringers. We want to hit five. I don't know if I love Heart of Kirin yet. I think I initially liked it a lot because it fits in the two spot very, very well, but the problem is that we don't have many other things to crew it. Sarkon on three is very, very good. If we can hit a Sarkon here, we can attack for six. That's pretty okay. Also, treasure map. That is very, very worth killing. Oh, I have a fiction out, buddy. I'm so sorry, man. Jeez. No bueno, sir. No bueno. I will draw an extra card because that's all I ever want to do in magic. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god, Becky. Did you see her glory bringers? They were so big. One, two, three, four, five. Consider we have three, four Dragon's Horde, four Sarkon, four Nicobolas in the deck, and we haven't drawn one out of 12 cards. So 12 cards is one in five. We've drawn a fifth of our deck. We've drawn 20% of our deck. And I guess, I mean, I guess we're about even to have drawn them, right? Because there's 12 of those in the deck. Or in a braid. So 15, which is 25% of the deck. I want to play this now because next turn we have our, our work cut out for us. Oh, a Fumigate, an Ixalan's Binding, and a Baffling End. Ixalan's Binding is actually a little scary with Glorybringer. Fumigate, not ideal. 
They have one, two, three, four, five. They'll have six mana next turn. Oh, I meant to take the binding. Dang it. I'm kind of over them. Yeah, I, I would be as well. I, I don't know if anyone's ever actually under funerals. Anyone's like, man, you know what? I got a couple more in me and then I think I'm done. Yeah, we want to take the, the Ixalan's Binding. Because if they fumigate, that's fine. Because we have Glorbringer to, to start putting guys into play. But getting rid of this with Ixalan's Binding is just fantastic. Let's do that. Large Brandon. Let's not exert. Come on back. All right. So they're actually dead next turn to Glorybringer number two if they don't have a... Uh, I guess they could Baffling in this. That's good. Planes. Okay, so we know your hand is Baffling End and one other card. Okay, now we know you have one card in your hand. One, two. Little Dovin Bond. No cards in hand. Good to know. I am a fan. God, if we hit a land here, that'd be great. We can actually play this guy and this guy. Next turn we can... Uh, no, we can't. We're just going to play Glory Ring number Dose. Uh, attack Dovey. Attack your facey. This puts him in a 9, and the other Glory Ringer uh, would be 9 here, exactly. But this is going to go back up to 4, so... Yeah, I don't know what they're playing. It looks it looks Esper, but just barely. Like they have no blue lands. Their only black land is Ifner Deadlands. I'm very, very curious about this uh strange concoction. Going back up to twelve? That's perfect. That's what's known as Exaxes. Here's the question. Did you hit the settle? I think even if you did, we're still in fine shape after getting three lands. So I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. You have two cards to have hit settle. As Ms. Bros. Louisiana heat has been today, 93 to 95 degrees with a real feel of 10 degrees hotter. I'm blessed to have this job. Yeah, Matthew R., you seem like you're killing it, dude. This job seems fantastic for you, dude. I'm actually, I always look forward to your, uh, your, your, your ice cream stories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're missing one land. Ice cream story sounds very funny, but you know what? I think you know what I'm saying. Leonard, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. They have one card in hand. They can draw off Relic. They can draw off Treasure. They have another map. It's unfortunate. Okay. 
Okay, so they did crack the old rock. All right, so here's the thing. If my opponent plays cast out and they target my Lathless, I feel like it's a good addition to the deck. Oh, you're going to target this instead of the $8 Planeswalker? Perfect. Oh, dang it. We're going to discard this because we don't care about it. We want to actually hit a land that comes into play untapped. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. I'm going to play this in Heart of Kieran. Seems good. Now I'll have to shave my head, neck, and upper lip. Oh my god. Are you joining a cult? I have a fiction on. Have a good night, buddy. I wish you the best in Utah. Hopefully things go uh, as smoothly as possible. Oh, Heart of Kieran stuck under the thing. I'm so stupid. I always forget that thing. Well, that's unfortunate. Heart would have been the discard in that situation. Yes, that is correct. If a smarter man were playing this deck, 1,000%. I felt like this game was over when we had the three Glorybringers, and then all of a sudden... Here we are. Oh my god. Stop it. You know I'm playing a blue, black, red deck. We don't have answers to these kind of things. They don't seem to have much, though, in the way of one. I, I hate that this goes right in the middle. You're like, planes, la uh, city's blessing, land. Why? Hmm. Now we're going to get rid of this heart of Kieran. Oh, two, two lands that come into play on tap for this time. Unfortunately, there are no creatures in any graveyards. So, just a little little fun fact there. I've been watching on the YouTubes for years. I haven't been a t-shirt player for like three years though. But, I do appreciate it either way. They kept a card on top, so it's 1,000% approach. You ready? Uh, what are my thoughts on Arena versus Moto? Um, I prefer Magic the Gathering online. There's the approach that we literally called. Um, yeah, no creatures anywhere. That's unfortunate. Oh my god, Sarkon, why are you like this? Wow. <clears throat> so theoretically it's going to go seven, six, five, four, three, two approach. We actually could have played another Sarkon. 
to loot again, but I'd rather just keep this guy. So they are now at six. They're gonna draw with Arch. Nope, they're gonna win the game. Okie dokie. Phantasmic. Okay, well that game. Other raids coming in for sure. Crying out loud, I wish I had ways to deal with uh Enchantments was the end of that sentence. The funny thing is when we first played against it, I was like, oh, this deck seems not ideal. But then they started getting rid of all my dragons. I'm pretty sure the pinnacle turn was when we attacked with all three Glorbringers. If we attacked with one or two, um, making them... Uh, like, forcing their hand, um, I think we would have been probably fine. The problem was we just drew a bunch of cards and none of them do anything. Oh, man. At the risk of being banned, I promised myself if I ever got to catch a live stream, I would have to say that Frank in 90% of disease looks like a mad, an evil mad scientist, and Mike looks like his dim-witted assistant who gets fed treats for doing something right. Definitely not bannable, but... Mike is my best friend, so I'd uh, prefer the insults remain at uh, the zero level. I will play first. Yeah, this is this is good. This is, this hand is great. Spazio, you're so weird, dude. You're so weird. Access denied. Yeah, I definitely got that impression. I did not. That did not seem like uh, a hostile, negative message. So I appreciate that. <laughs> you want to? Should... <laughs> oh, Sarah, love it. All right. So what are we doing next turn? We're just discarding like. I don't know. Probably nothing. Hmm, that actually might be better. Is it? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. Yes, it is because we get to Dragon's Horde on the next turn. Or we get to uh, put a counter on it on next turn, rather. And also, if we hit a land, we can play Sarkon and Nicobolus. So I think that's just probably better. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Land. Untap land. Okay, Nicobolus number three. That seems good. That's uh, That was the, the other alternative that I was thinking we, we draw. I'm gonna fumigate anyway. Wiping that board. Fumigate anyway. I thought I was your best friend. Iron Chef Sammy, you are my best friend. You're my internet best friend. Oh, that's pretty good. Hmm. Let's not do that. Let's play it with a second red. Ooh, I like second red. Oh, second red. We're going to discard Nicol Bolas. And also, the nice thing is, if we get our Scarab God, we can get these guys back. Nickel Bolas back. All right, Baron. Baron. Oh, look. Look what I found wandering around the parking lot. I actually don't love Chromium in this deck because you can't cast it at instant speed with Sarkon. 
Uh, do I think Standard is healthy right now? I don't know. I'd like to look at the results of the um, the Grand Prix this weekend to figure that out. Hard to say. Are you being for real right now? Are you really doing this? Actually, let's glory bring her here. I like that a lot. Here's the problem. The problem is if they just go untap land approach, it's real bad. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They can't actually tap their lands fast enough. Cool Aether Hub, my dude. Alright, so you got seven, six, five, four, three, two. Approach, you're gonna draw that guy. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine permanents. Yep, the hub puts you to ten. So you're at six. Are you friggin' serious? This is unbelievable, dude. Three Ixalan's bindings. <laughs> you have to hit the Scarab God. It's not even close. I don't know why it even thought about it. These draws are just phenomenal. Six mana, two seven mana dragons, a dragon we can't actually cast. It's going to be a land here. Yep. <sighs> Boy. I mean, if they just whiff two turns in a row, we might be able to do this, but they have Arch in play, so probably not. I think it actually maybe it would have been might even chromium end of turn. And then we attack for 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Because that kind of side swipes them. Yeah, are you kidding me? I think they're just drawing with Arch. All right. So they have two cards. They're two away from approach. Unless they hit a different approach. Draw a card. So your next card is approach. Jam and bomb for the years of me mooching deck ideas off you keep with the great content. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Also, our opponent uh, clearly could not keep up with our 14 11 power. 14 11 power on board. We would have drawn a swamp. Uneventful. We can draw with a dragon sword, which would have hit a mountain. All right. Uh, either way, I think this version of the deck is pretty sweet. If you guys want to try it out, I will be posting it in the description. If you guys uh, want to follow me on uh, and subscribe on YouTube, I really appreciate that. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both those links are in the description. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.
Really appreciate it.